Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Sunday. Day three, I think, of our heat wave. I'm pretty sure Penny heard Phineas and she called. She called to the rooster? I think so. Yeah, the girls are still totally shocked that there's a boy in the castle. But anyways, welcome to today. Last night we ended our vlog with the chickens and we're starting it with the chickens because I'm obsessed with chickens and I, I like to do fun things. Yeah. After five minutes. We've been out, I walked out the door and started sweating. Like it's so hot out here, you guys. <laughs> Look at my little girl. Yesterday we did a test. We played music for our chickens to see which ones were a boy. And I thought maybe this one was a boy because he looks like he's got saddle feathers and he looks like he's getting boyish but i don't know he didn't act like a boy yesterday but this one is for sure a boy come here look i got treats See, they want it over on the rear i know they're like give it to me over here laura we're in jail come here Technic typically the chickens all come running when it's time <laughs> to have a snack and they take it out of my hands they take it out of my hands, but they also try and sneak and take it out of my bowl. Hi. Hi, little girl. This is still my favorite chicken of life. Look at how tiny she is. She's a bantam chicken. She's a bantam breed, but she's like a bantam size of a bantam breed. Like, she's so tiny. And she it's a lays... really amazing story how we got her. Though. Yeah, it's a really amazing story. Essentially, we went to pick up a rooster, and this little girl was there, and we couldn't walk away without her. And I'm so glad we, we got her. So glad. I saw people say that chickens really love to look at themselves in the mirror. So we're going to see if they notice and if they like to see themselves. There's the little rooster that we got. She sees herself. She's like, what in the heck? <laughs> She's so confused. I don't know if they know what to do. They don't know what to make of it. Like, how do they know that they're looking in a mirror? How do they know it's just not another chicken? Like they don't know what they look like, so they know, don't know it's them. And clearly they don't think like that. Look at this chicken. Isn't it so cute? And him, he's so cute. So let's see if we can find today's contribution by our little tiny hen and it will... Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Ow! Jeez, oh, doesn't that scare you? Like, it doesn't hurt. Let's see if there's an egg. That's a number. They all have numbers. Oh, there's one. No, stay away for a minute. All right, let's just see. If there's an egg in here without a number. All right, I'm gonna say there's no egg today. There's probably just no egg yet. Because all these have numbers. Except for this one. Alright. Go ahead. Protect your babies. It's okay. Go ahead. Sometimes we crack eggs and let the chickens eat them. Because it's really healthy for them. And they love it. That chicken is mad that I went in here, her babies. Right. So we are gonna get ready to go to the beach, but before we do, I wanna try TikTok on the dogs. It's the one where you gasp and then see what they do. 
Where's your dog? Okay. <gasps> Gasp for her. No, she can hear us. And then Ruby won't leave my side. Ruby is my dog. I did not even want a dog, and she's my dog. Like she is goes to bed with me. She needs a haircut, Sam. You need to get her haircut. Yeah. We need a haircut, Rob Ruby do. Let's do it again. Sam, you do it. <sighs> <laughs> she runs away. <laughs> She's like, bring me toys. I know you want toys. She, see, she can tell the energy of what's going on. She just doesn't know why it's happening. Anyway, honestly, I've never seen it this hot. And this whole year, I've never seen it this hot. That's how bad of a heat wave it is out there. As soon as you walk outside, it's like walking into an oven. As soon as I walk outside, I sweat. Yeah, you just start sweating, pouring sweat. I'm going to have to put my hair up. And we are going to the beach. We're going to find one. We can take our puppies too, not Daisy because Daisy gets car sick because she has problems with her ears, she can't hear. She gets car sick. But Ruby, you wanna go for a swim, Ruby? You wanna, you wanna go for a swim? Gasp, Gabby. Our dogs, I've seen dogs put their ears down and think they're in trouble, but our dogs think it's playtime. Gasp and see what they do. Oh. <gasps> like that. <laughs> Hang on, wait, wait, wait. She stops because she thinks that. Get him off, get it, get it. Or if I say ow, she didn't do it that well. Ow. Aww, she's such a good dog, you guys. So uh, we call this place the dog beach. Oh. The dog beach. And already it's like so many degrees colder, it just feels glorious out here. We haven't been here for a couple of years and unfortunately it hasn't been maintained and it's impossible to get down to the water. In the back, in the back, in the back. In the back. They're like, but we wanted to swim. <laughs> Molly's like, I will be the passenger. All right, try number two, you guys. This is just like a private little, actually this is just a little public beach area and it is where we always take the the horse is swimming and we could have went today because it's kind of dead here if we had a horse trailer. Let's do it dogs. I come here because the water is warm here. Really far. Really far? Is that far enough? Yeah. Right there, right there is your toy. There's your toy. There you go. Ruby wants to swim, but she's out in the deep end. Come on, Ruby. Ruby. There she goes, swimming here. Ruby, don't go too far out, man. Not here, not near me. Last time we brought our horses here, we got a lot of flack from the locals. They're like, why would you bring your horses in there? They're dirty. They shouldn't be in that water. We use that water for drinking. I'm like, if you use that water for drinking without cleaning it, then that's pretty disgusting. They probably all peed in the water, everybody that swims here. So you're drinking that stuff too. What the heck's the difference? If you're drinking water where the horse has been. There's a lot more dirty stuff in that water than the horses. Anyways, yeah, so we got flack from the locals, you know. There was even a guy that came here to pump water. 
from this area to fill up his his well at home. So I mean, I mean yeah, but I mean when you use well water, it's all clean anyway. Yeah, they're far, aren't they? You can go out there if you want. Nope, she needs her haircut. You're not a good swimmer, the, Laura said. She needs her haircut. I have to make an appointment with her beauty salon that she goes to. Ruby's sneaking out. <laughs> she was sneaking away. We can go in the water. Just don't go too far out there, okay? <laughs> Fuck her. She's not very good. She's not a strong swimmer. And I think it's because she didn't learn when she was a puppy. And we and remember she's a rescue, so she did not learn to swim properly. That was so fun, you guys. Such a nice breeze at the lake. Oh man, we stayed in there for so long. Ruby is no swimmer though. Like literally she cannot swim. She's so funny. She like wanted to be with us. So she'd swim out to us, but she swims like with her feet on the ground and her paws like this. She swims like she's drowning. Bye, Lake. We'll be back. All right, send them to me. So we just says she took pictures of Molly. If you're gonna use my photos, I'd like credit. She wants credit, you guys, if I use her photos. Use photos. Hi guys, we're back from the lake and we're gonna put the horses out. And it looks like it's gonna rain, so hopefully tomorrow will be nice and cool. Huh, Penny? Oh, did I scare you? They scare you. You ready to go out and eat some hay? For nighttime? Grass. Grass you can turn into. Grass is hay. Hay is grass. But hay is good grass. I think I got Trenny pe Penny trained, you guys. Come on. Here. Here, get it on. You want to go? Get it on. Look at that. Uh oh. There you go. Perfect. Girl. Penny is trained. I've trained Penny. I walk with that and she just goes right on. Puts her, puts her head right in there. Only person missing right now is so is Gabby because she has gone. She has gone to have a shower apparently. Come on, Penny. Penny's gone. Gabby's gone to have a shower. Because the lake is all dirty. Only problem is with Penny is that she, when I walk her, she eats the grass. Stop eating the grass, Penny. Come on. Come on. Stop eating the grass. Still a bit human, but. Human? Humid. Where is Chino, you ask? There he is. So, usually in the morning, Chino goes out with the girls. And he gets a lot of exercise because they don't leave him alone. So after a couple hours, I take him out of there and put him in the in the winter paddock area so he can eat some hay. Um, but at least he gets exercise. And at night, he goes out in the winter while the girls go out in the summer. And while they're eating, he's out there with some hay and he eats out there and walks around and does his stuff. Boy. Boy, come on, get it on. Boy, okay, you ready? Uh oh, I should open it a little bit more. All right, Gino, there you go, buddy. Oh, you got hay on your face here. Come here, let me take this off. There you go, let me fill up your water. You go out there and enjoy outside while I fill up your water. Yeah. So my goal for this farm is to open up this side. I have to get a bulldozer and doze all that. <laughs> Level it all off because there's like a little ravine where I, where, where I cut it there, that line. There's a ravine there, so I I can't get to that side. So I have to get a bulldozer, doze it off. And I'm gonna put the chinos little winter area on this side. 
So we're prepared, so next time when a boy, the boys have to come home, they'll be in that winter area, and then they can come in here. The girls will be on the other side, and, and the back area will be split in two, so they can meet on either side. That's my plan for this farm. But until I get a dozer, and you have to book ahead of time to get it done, and I need to get it done before winter, so that it's ready. Another standard thing that I do now, now that the girls go out, Chino comes out here from being in a stall. He's still on like kind of stall rest. Gabby's gonna come out and walk him, but she's in the shower right now. Gabby's gonna come and walk him around the yard. But anyway, so while they're doing that, I clean out his stall for tonight. And I make sure there's hay and fresh water in there, so it's all ready for tonight. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I'll say good night and we'll see you tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?